Hello friends, welcome back. Today I have a strange video for you, probably not if you know me at all, and it's going to be, uh, as you can see by the title, what I bought on my no buy. I know that is a contradiction, but it's realistic and I'm going to share what I purchased when I told you I wasn't going to purchase anything. <laughs> things first, I know someone will ask, I did actually film a get ready with me of this makeup situation. Um, I found a drawer of makeup that I had not even gone in for like at least over a year. So I thought it would be interesting to use all of that makeup, like forgotten favourites. So that video will be up soon. Um, but that's by the by. Right now, I have some confessions. Really? That's what the situation is? I said I wasn't going to buy anything non-essential for July. I bought several non-essential things. As is so often the case, it only takes one thing to break a streak. So, you know, you, you decide you're going to do something every single day for like two months. You do it really, really well for two weeks, and then one day you forget and all of a sudden you're like, well, what's the point? Because I've lost my streak. And I feel like that's probably what happened. And this happened quite early on in the month. But I found... Um, I, I found a picture of me and I was wearing these eye masks that I used to absolutely love. They were um, like cotton topped, you might remember them. They were like white under eye masks from a brand called Mask Bar and they had like a like a papery, uh, like cotton wool top almost. So they weren't sticky. They s stayed on your eye really, really well. When you took them off, they were, um, my eyes looked kind of refreshed and plump and you couldn't see any of the fine lines and they were just kind of magical. They were supposed to be for dark circles, but that's not what I used them for. Anyway, I saw a picture of me wearing these eye masks and thought, oh, I wish they hadn't been discontinued because I used to buy them quite frequently. Um, but I thought, I wonder if you can still get them from somewhere. Like, I wonder if you can import them from America or if there's somewhere still selling them. So I Googled it and it turned out that you could still buy them. It's a different iteration. The brand is now called Look Beauty, but I am 99.9% .9 sure this is exactly the same thing because they were actually advertised as Mask Bar. Um, and they used to be 10, 12 pounds, depending on where you bought them, for five sets of patches. And I found them on Lloyd's, Lloyd's Pharmacy, for 3 dollars each. So I bought a lot of them. It was a panic purchase. I thought, oh my God, I didn't think these even existed anymore and they're $3.99 each and I don't know how many they've got. So I bought like 10 packs or eight packs or I don't know how many packs I bought. Um, basically, if you've never seen these before, I will link them for you because I'm a nice person like that. I really didn't want to. I wanted to keep it to myself uh, so that when eventually I run out of these, they might still be available. Um, but I kind of bought enough for me to just be able to keep these forever, especially for travel. I am brazen enough to wear these on an airplane. Um, but you can see in the photo there, they're like white, fully white eye masks. Oh, it's such good stuff. I know, this is probably absolutely terrible for the environment. I told you, it is a confessional. This is a video of things I shouldn't have done, but I did anyway. So part of me was like, okay, well, let's, you know, start fresh, draw a line under it. That, that didn't count because that was time sensitive. I had to buy those things. What if they weren't available anymore? As I went, no, I had to buy them. That was understandable. So next, I uh, put it to a vote on Instagram. I had some things from Zara that I needed to return. And I said, so I'm returning these things that I bought in June. If I receive a refund, may I spend that money? May I return exchange? Where is this a gray area? for a no buy hat, where do we stand on this? Um, most people said, yep, yeah, that's cool, no problem. However, what I did was receive my refund and spent that money on Vinted. Slightly less of a gray area, slightly less. Let me show you what I bought. Two, I mean, no regrets, There's absolutely zero regrets, but two fabulous things. This is also from Zara, weirdly enough. Um, 29.99, I think I paid Less than 10. Brand new, never worn, still with the tag. Makes me feel like Cher. I love it, I love it. Now, does this count? Because I had a refund. I had a refund, it was free money from the previous month. How fabulous is this? Also, I thought this would be really, really cool with um, denim shorts. 
because the tassels would probably come to like lower than the shorts, super cool, right? So there's that, and then I clearly was on, in fact, you know what it was? I was watching Hacks, I think that's what it was, and she was wearing um, like kimono -y things all the time, and then they went on a cruise and people were wearing a kimono, and I was like, oh. so then there's this one. This is from Topshop, and again, I paid less than 10 pounds. What would this have been from Topshop? 60, easily, minimum. How gorgeous. Worth every penny. Would never have paid full price. This makes this outfit very, very glam. So listen, that doesn't count. That was free money. That was an exchange. No extra money was spent in July on those things. That money came in, went back out. Money never existed. So then we had a heat wave and I bought a paddling pool. Now, the paddling pool wasn't for me, it was for the kids. Was I having a friend round on the hottest day of the year? Did it make sense to have a paddling pool that we could sit in and keep cool? Yes, but I didn't buy it for me, I bought, it for the, bought it for the kids. So I spent £30 on a paddling pool um, at Asda. Again, feels justifiable. But because it was going to be the hottest day of the year, I also did go and get some more SPF. Now that definitely doesn't count uh, because we need it as protection, sun protection. So I bought um, some facial stuff, some body stuff, all good stuff. We will talk about that. But while I was in there, I was like, well, my skin's going to be feeling extra dry after being in the sun. Um, and just, you know, even inside, start to feel a little bit kind of dry when the weather is hot um so I probably need some body lotion uh, this is Neutrogena deep moisture fast absorbing body lotion that was what sold me on this um I bought this two weeks ago I haven't opened it yet I have 150 bottles of body lotion in this house didn't need this I will say I haven't bought anything from Amazon this month which is amazing. I have spent maybe twice as much money on food shopping as usual. I don't know if that's because I'm spending more, like I'm actually buying more food or because food shopping is just so expensive right now. Um, probably a little from column A, a little from column B. But any money I could possibly have saved by, let's call it now a low buy, uh, by buying less, I absolutely subsidized with just food just it was crazy I, there were, I would look at my online banking and be like what have I even spent any money on it's just like Tesco Tesco Morrison's Asda Tesco everything is so much more expensive at the moment um so that's annoying that is annoying um I do have two funny stories I do have two stories that kind of made me laugh um initially before any of these things were broken I again was feeling hot and bothered and annoyed and I really wanted a scrunchie you know like a big scrunchie I wanted to like throw all my hair on top of my head scrunchie couldn't find I've got one scrunchie to my name and I couldn't find it anywhere and um I went into Tesco and I was like screw it I'm gonna buy a scrunchie I, I our local Tesco has been had like a full revamp and it's all moved around and it's just craziness and I went in, and you know where the shampoos and the hair dyes and all of that, that whole aisle, there's usually like a wall of clips and grips and hair brushes and bobbles and all of that stuff. That doesn't exist. It's just not there. It was there maybe last week, the week before. It, it doesn't exist. I went in intending to break my no buy and it doesn't exist. Crazy. The second thing that happened this month that was super weird was I actually lost my bank card. I haven't lost my bank card in years, like crazy, crazy number of years. Um, no idea, no idea where it went. And I lost the bank card after I bought the eye masks, the paddling pool, the clothes from Vinted. I haven't bought anything since because I don't have my bank card. What's going on? What is happening, universe? What are you trying to tell me? Maybe that I'm not supposed to be spending money on a no-buy. I hear you. Funnily enough, I did draw the line at one thing. There was one particular thing. I mean, there were loads of things throughout the month that I was like, ooh, 
but no. Um, but the one particular thing that I wanted to buy really early on in the month, and that was a book. I was hoping it'd be on Audible, but it's not, um, which is really annoying because I hate reading an actual book. But I'd said to my friend, I think I want to do The Magic. She's like The Secret, but it's different. It's like Gratitude. I want to do The Magic. Um, and I looked everywhere. And there are some YouTube things, but I, I think I need the book. I think it's probably like a workbook situation. And I'd said to her, right, because we were doing the No Buy together, her more successfully than me. Um, I said, right, we can't do it. We're going to have to do it in August. And now I feel like I might as well have just bought the book. <laughs> Because now I could be sitting here 30 days later, feeling the magic just flowing through me, feeling all of that manifesting power, and uh, we're just really grateful for my life. And instead, I didn't buy that, but I did buy lots of other things that I don't need, and now I'm making a video about um, breaking my no-buy. What I think I might do for August is a budget. Um, I'm not going to do the same videos that I used to do where I was like, this is how I've spent all of my money, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think it would be interesting to say, right, I'm going to give myself, let's say, £100, um, especially with it being the summer holidays, and see what I spent that £100 on. Because I don't want to... I, I know by feels too restrictive <laughs> right now. Um, but I don't want to just be like, ah, oh, it's lawless. I think I need to probably slightly rein myself in. Um, because, you know, I've talked a little bit about it recently. But when you, when I do feel a little bit low, I want to spend money. And I've had kind of some ebbs and flows recently. And so that's mostly why I'm like, keep an eye on this. So I'm going to do something similar for August. I don't know what exactly what it's going to be yet, but expect some kind of update next month. Um, for now, I wanted to share with you, you know, my successes and my failures from this project. It wasn't great. Uh, I could have bought more. I definitely could have bought less. It wasn't a no-buy. Some of these things I could explain away. Um, but I wanted to be completely honest with you and be like, these are the things that I bought when I wasn't supposed to be buying anything. Um, I think that some of you will really feel feel the feeling. Um, and some of you will be like, you're an idiot. That's mostly like, I speak to my brother and he's just like, why? Like, You'll never understand. You'll never understand. The call. The call to shop. He's like, he could save every penny that he's ever earned in his life and be perfectly happy. And I'm like, but it calls me. It needs me to shop. They don't get it. You're either like us or you're not. <laughs>